Thank you for tuning in to the reading produced by Black Spectrum Network. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get the latest updates on this channel. You can purchase a private psychic reading by going to www.blackspectrumnetwork.com. If you want spiritual guidance to learn how to work with your ancestors or you're interested in deepening your spiritual experiences, then subscribe to our Patreon. You can get these and other videos at least one week ahead of their YouTube release date. That's patreon.com forward slash Black Spectrum Network. Okay, so I want to let you all know that in this pick a card reading, these are the three, these are the three archetypes that you can choose from, okay? Um, but before you choose and before I even tell you what the archetypes are, I need to just make a few suggestions um, for you all. Um, uh, these are ritualistic or ceremonial practices that I want you all to perform before you watch this video so that you can get the most out of it. What I want you to do is I want you to perform a head cleansing or a head blessing ritual, okay? So if you are not familiar with that or what it is, then you need to start reading at page 57 of Iyanla Van Zant's Tapping the Power Within. So um, to perform a head cleansing ritual, my suggestion, which is different than the one that's presented in the book, is to cleanse your head using Florida water, and you're going to take the Florida water, rub it in your hands, and then you're going to rub your forehead, you're going to rub the, the your neck, the front, the side, the back, you're going to rub behind your ears, and you may even smell, you know, sniff into the palm of your hands, okay? And then after that, you're going to light a tea light candle. Now, meanwhile, you're doing, now while you're doing this entire process, okay, you're setting your intentions to have a clear mind and a clear head, okay? Because you're trying to cleanse your consciousness and you're trying to cleanse your ori, all right? So if you have a clear head and a clear mind, you'll get the most out of this video. Now, with that being said, you're going to light the tea light candle so that you can set your intentions. So set your intentions to get that man, set your intentions to make that money or say, hey, I want ten dollars. Ancestors bring me forty dollars. Ancestors give me the most important help to help me to download the most powerful interpretation of the this message that I'm about to receive from this video, okay? All right, so to explain the archetypes, the first archetype is the witch. The witch represents a magician, okay? The, the witch represents a magician. This is for someone that's interested in working with herbs, working with oils, potions, animals, or even blood to do their spiritual work okay to make things happen you're going to change you're going to use these you're going to use na things that are made from the earth things that are or even made from man or that come from a human being to change the cosmos and create a reality that you want okay and you are on a journey to understand how to work with your left and your right hand how to work how to do shadow work and to work in the light as well if you are the priest, which is here, the priest is someone that wants to initiate or that is initiated into a um, an African traditional religion or African religious practice, for example, or you just may be initiated into a secret society, but you've initiated in some way or you are thinking about initiation. And if you are the priest, then you are trying to connect with gods. You're trying to connect with deities, energies, entities, supernatural beings, and you're trying to practice ancient spiritual traditions. And on your journey, it is your goal to keep your head and your mind clear. Okay. Now, if you are the psychic, the psychic is someone that's connected to the astral plane and they are blessed with supernatural senses like clairvoyance, clairaudience. Um, you may quote unquote call yourself an empath or you may have claircognizance and just know things. You um, may be someone that does divinations for people or you just are trying to advance the strength of your intuitive gifts. So if you are the psychic, then you're on a journey to balance between the physical world and the spiritual world, okay? And you need to learn how to exist in both places at the same time, all right? Now, I want you to go ahead, get your Florida water, get your tea light candle, and be ready to dive into this video, okay?
<sighs> Divorce fucking sucks. I mean, I've heard it's like the worst. It's like some of the worst shit that can happen to you in your life. I was watching this preacher um, once and he said that it's almost, he said he heard that divorce is, is almost like having your soul ripped out of your body or something like that. And I can only imagine um, me working hard to get married. I'd like to get married at some point in my life. You know, I would like to find my soulmate, Venus and Scorpio. But at the same time, like divorce fucking sucks. I've heard it does. I've, you know, I've had clients that have divorced, cried on the phone with me, talked about, you know, killing themselves, talking about killing the, the uh, killing the uh, other person um that they were married to or the person that the, they were cheating with or just being so mad that they could just kill their kids because they can't just fathom even just continuing the life that they've created they just want to destroy the reality and they want to go back to being a, a baby and and starting life over and hitting the reset button yeah i mean divorce will drive you fucking crazy it will drive i, I mean <sighs> Can y'all name some celebrities that went crazy after they divorced? I mean, I know breakups fucking hurt people, too. I mean, you know, it, they, people change after that. You know, sometimes people go and cut their hair, you know, cut up people's clothes or, you know, cut up the other person. But let's go ahead and just do a reading on divorce. OK, so if. um, Yeah. So, I mean, just let me all know, like, are you single or are you in a relationship um, you divorcing, you know, what's up? How, you know, how you doing it? Okay. So we're about to see what's going on. All right. So, um, I'm going to put some cards now. Um, cause I got a few questions, I guess, you know, cause I got like a couple of questions in my head for y'all that are going through a uh, divorce and we're going to sit here and just do some intuitive crisis management for a second. Cause we can't be having y'all out here just like sad and shit you know what i mean like maybe you're happy let's see what's going on with you and your divorce and what advice that the spirits have for you so let's let's see so uh we're going to start with any meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers let him go any meeny miny mo okay so we're going to start with the priest ta-da the priest goes first okay so priest what's going on uh let's see why let's see where are you in this divorce process two of cups you are still in the relation y'all are still together okay so um priest you're actually not going to be divorcing um i see that your relationship is really good actually you and your you and your lover are um y'all are having this very harmonious time with one another y'all are soulmates to each other very complimentary to one another um and I feel that you and your partner, um, I feel that you and your partner need to go um, out of town and visit um, family together. It has to happen. And you all need to have a family dinner. And at this family dinner, you all need to pray together and make sure to take photos and 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 start uh, creating a photo album all right because i'm saying that you you're nowhere near divorce you're you're probably honeymoon phasing it right now and yeah they're they're you know something um don't worry your partner is yeah i mean you're you know once y'all get out of the honeymoon phase i mean you know regular you know normal life shit will happen y'all will start disagreeing with one another and pulling the covers off of each other and you know um, fighting over toothpaste and just deciding to get two tubes of toothpaste at, at some point. So the point, the, all of this being said, um, I'm saying here that what what you need to know um, about, I guess you could say, quote unquote, divorcing is that it's not about to happen and don't, don't worry about it. Um, if anything, there's a lot of love that you, you all have in y'all's relationship. Um, and, and in this marriage, I don't, I don't see, I don't see divorce coming for you. What do the spirits want you to do? So the spirits want you up oh, chores. Okay. So the chores are not evenly divided between the two of you all. So clean up that nasty ass house. Um, and, um, make sure that, uh, make sure that you all are on a schedule. Okay. Make sure that, you know, one week, they're doing this this week. I'm doing that. And if you all have children together, 
you have to divide the responsibilities between one another or else you're going to have too much chaos in the house. Okay. So now if you are the, let's see, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo. All right. So we're going to do the, um, this is, uh, crap, the psychic. Okay. So for the psychic, um, let's see. So for you, psychic, mm, you, you are a cheater. You're a cheater. And you got another partner and they giving you some good sex and giving you some good head. Hey, hey, you was getting some head, getting, getting some head and you slid down on the dick and gave some more head. OK, let me stop. Um, So um, I feel like. I feel like it's time for you to just go ahead and continue showing your ass. Literally. I feel like you need to go on a trip, a cruise, have some, you know, have some threesomes, you know, sleep with somebody that's married. I see you just, you know, kind of just kind of wilding out because um, let's see what was going on for you to divorce. Um, it seems like your spouse it seems like your spouse, I feel like they have um, a child outside of your marriage. Um, and this may, this child, but th- but this was before you got married to the person. So you are, you got into the relationship with them. They already had the child. And I feel like you feel that this person may still be dealing with their, uh, with, with, with their um, child's parent and um, other parent. And so this this is true. It it did happen and and yes, they they I mean and even then, it may not have just been the child's parent. Um you may I feel that like you were getting you've all yeah, you've been getting cheated on and I feel like they do have a child on the way, so you could be expecting that. Um so it's it's it would be the right thing to do to go ahead and get the divorce. It's not this this is messy. Um yeah, go ahead cuz they're saying he's not he, she, he, she don't matter. This person's controlling. All right. This person is very controlling and they, they're after your money. Okay. So what the spirits want you to do, the spirits are saying, just sit back and just watch, just sip the tea. Do not, you cannot be open to sitting down with this person and trying to rekindle anything, trying to renegotiate anything, trying to say, oh, we gonna reconcile none of that. Leave the shit alone and, and get the fuck out the marriage. All right. If anything, I want to see if you're going to get some money um, out of the settlement. Are you going to get some money from like in the settlement? Uh, you got to pray for it some more. All right. I don't know. You They're saying you're not praying enough. So you need to pray to your ancestors and tell them that you want uh, money um, out of this settlement. But uh, pretty much it's just 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 watch from a just watch from afar um, and watch things crumble um, for this for your ex. Um and no, you're not going to be widowed, but you do have to make sure that you're still on the market. I guess this is what happens when, when you get married kind of young, either young in the age or young in the mind. All right. So uh, for the witch, you need to get your hair done. But witch, um, I see that you I see that you still want things to work out. Um and you would be open to things working out and perhaps you're open to, for things working out because y'all have children together. And that, I mean, you, you're a family oriented and you like being surrounded by other people. And I feel like this, it, I get that it hurts, but I've got to tell you something. There's somebody else out there for you. And the spirits want you to be with someone else. And that person was occupying space for this new person to come into your life. And no, you're not going to meet them immediately. Okay? And yes, you are going to have to start dieting and exercising again. <sighs> um, as of right now, I think it's best for you to keep your guard up. Um, whether this person comes around or not really doesn't matter. Come Comes back around. It's just right now you just got to focus on the family that you do have okay if the in-laws call be happy 
for that. All right. So now we're going to see what the spirits have to say to you to get through this. Um, you need a spiritual bath. Um, you you have a broken heart, and um, that spiritual bath would help you to regenerate and renew your interest in dating. Um, and I also think you need the spiritual bath because your mind is not quite clear you don't have you're still asking yourself why did this happen to me i wanted to i wanted it to work um and i really i tried really hard and you tried to avoid being you were loyal you tried to you were private too and you kept your problems to yourself and i see that you were telling everybody that things were cool and and now this is happening and you feel like your life is falling apart and it is and and it has fallen apart but and you have to do the cleansing bath so that you can put together the pieces. Um, you can you can literally make peace. P e a c e from broken pieces. Okay. Peace from broken pieces. All right. So. So fuel my fire, take me high, I'll be your light.